Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and um, one of the things that you will want to check once your RTL SDR is functioning is the AGC or the automatic gain control from the device itself. And this you can actually look at in the settings on the upper left. You can configure your source. When you go here, you have your device and you have different options. One is using the tuner automatic gain control. One is using the RTL's own automatic gain control. Or if nothing is actually selected, you actually have the possibility of adjusting the RF gain manually. If you do use the RTL or your AGC, for example, that option of adjusting is still there, but is kind of overridden pretty much. There's an overwrite of a lot of the parameters uh, with the RTL uh, own automatic gain control. So which one you choose? Well, how do you work with this? Um, well, it's a question of testing it out yourself, choosing a signal that's not too, that's not too strong, and depending on the frequency range where you're going to be, the question is to adjust the AGC so that it's not too overly sensitive. I like the manual uh, option because the manual option lets you tweak how sensitive your device is. One of the things that's very important is not to over, um, you know, kind of not to put the RF gain to maximum all the time. You know, we always, like, we're tempted to put it at the highest level all the time because it's like, oh, well, it'll be the max sensitivity. Problem is, the max sensitivity also means you have a lot of spurious signals and overloads that can show up. One of the problems, uh, of course, of the RTL SDR is that is spurious signals. When you look at all of these little signals here and here, and here these are spurious signals everywhere these are not um, you know real signals for the most part and that is uh, one of the problems of the RTL SDR dongles is the fact that they aren't the best in rejection of images and all sorts of weird spurious signals some of them can come from your computer also there's uh, not that much filtering happening at the dongle level, so that also can happen. Uh, the idea is to try to limit to the maximum with the RF gain and the uh, AJC what you will see on the display. And it's to play around, play around with the RTL's own automatic gain control, see how it goes. Uh, tuner AGC, of course, that will remove the ability for you to um, automatically um, choose the RF gain. What happens is it's more of a automatic process that happens. And of course the RTL itself does have an EGC like all radios. Um, that can be one that you can check out if it performs better or not. And try it at different frequency levels. Um, you know, for example, if you find that there's one uh, way that it works in a certain frequency range, so here we're in the uh, uh, VHF range, Let's uh, move it up to, say, uh, the uh, range of uh, UHF. So, for example, here there are some signals. One that I will check out, this one here, I believe, is uh, one of the local news outlets that has uh, a capability of uh, giving some news, kind of a studio to uh, link transmitter. Uh, once again, play around with the AGC, check out what's the best for you, check out if the tuner AGC is better or not. You'll see it with the different levels of signals and of course your baseline is also there in here. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos on the channel.